I'm Leslie Grant, faculty member in the School of Education, and I teach in the Educational Policy Planning and Leadership Department, uh, mainly in curriculum development uh, and evaluation, and that's really the focus of my work. Um, and I do research, quite a bit of research in international uh, comparisons of teaching. And I'm just delighted to partner with Steely this year to work on trying out a peer observation protocol across the university to support all of our instructors in uh, teaching and learning here at William & Mary. The peer observation process, and particularly here at William & Mary, is, is purely formative in that it's giving information uh, to one another in order to make changes in teaching. There's nothing high stakes tied to it, uh, such as uh, a tenure promotion or anything of that nature. And so my hope in having this approach, a, a true formative approach by the end of the year, is that not only we give folks an opportunity to try this out, but at the end of the year that they value it, that they then go to one of their colleagues and say, hey, would you mind coming into my class? So I'm really you know, wondering about how this particular aspect of my teaching is going. Would you come in and just pop in for a few minutes? That's where we, we start to value this process and really make it part of our value system in teaching. When I uh, reflect back on my over 30 year career in education, I started out as a middle school teacher, as I, I've mentioned before. I just never imagined uh, that I would uh, be here as a faculty member at William & Mary. Uh, it truly is uh, just an inspirational uh, career that I've had, um, and so many people have influenced who I became as a teacher, as a faculty member here at William & Mary. Uh, and so I've grown so much over time, and it's my hope to give back to others to help them to to grow and to reach, uh, you know, that uh, that desire that they have uh, to just be the the best instructor that they can be, uh, and to truly enjoy every single day that they walk into that classroom, you know watch their Zoom meeting if it's an online course or engage in discussion boards with their students if it's fully asynchronous, whatever it might be that we really have that joy in teaching.